to. Let's officially make it Friday here at 726 and spend some time with our good friend Laura Gibbs Green of the Rockford Park District. Laura, good morning. Hey, good morning, Riley. How are you? I'm good. You ready for some hot weather? Oh, my gosh, right? Yeah, we're ready for a heat wave. I'm thinking uh, skating, Carlson Ice Arena sounds good. Oh, I... This is the time that I love to talk about our coldest place in town. <laughs> yeah, and because people are going to be drawn to it when we're looking at uh, 91, 92 over the next four days. Yeah, you know, our pools, unfortunately, are not open yet. So we are certainly scrambling and working hard, but... We did not expect 90 degree weather so early into June, so our apologies to everybody. But we did, you know, we're not opening the pools, at least one of the pools, until the following weekend, the 12th. We're trying to see what other activities we can provide throughout the area. But certainly, Carlson Ice Arena, I know, is always. I just go and sit in the lobby alone, and you cool off instantly. So <laughs> right, no, you don't even need to. You don't even need to skate. Just come in and enjoy no. the atmosphere a little bit. Cool down and be on your way. Yeah, we can grab a snack or something. You know, just sit there for a moment. I've I've done it myself. You know, it's just nice to be there. So we've got public skating going on at Carl's Nice Arena. That's today, uh, throughout the weekend as well. And then we'll be doing our flicks on the farm tonight. That's at Lockwood Park. And we push that movie time back to 9 o'clock now that it's getting darker later. So Dr. Doolittle is going to be on the big screen tonight at Lockwood Park. How fitting amongst oh, the animals. Perfect choice for out there. Right? We have our own Dr. Doolittle that shows up quite a bit at Lockwood Park. So, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. We have all the experts that show up there for the animals so enjoy that there's still a couple seats left and yeah perfect time you can sit in your air-conditioned car if you would like or you could probably kind of step outside a little bit too and yeah well it'll cool down a little bit it shouldn't be so oppressive sounds like a great night to get out and do it yeah it's going to be perfect tonight so this is uh, happening at once pretty much once a month we've got a lot of areas to still do go outside you know there's a lot of shady territory throughout the park district too so there are places for you to cool off, for you to still be outside. We've got a Saturday activities that are going on at Atwood. We've got a lot of events and things that are taking place um, at Lockwood throughout the weekend on Saturdays from 10 to 4. We've got our big NFL flag kickoff jamboree tomorrow that's going on at Clarence Six Memorial Sports Park from 10 to noon. We're going to have a former Chicago Bear fullback, Jason McKee, as our guest instructor teaching those kids all he knows. That's outstanding, and I know kids look forward to this every single year. This has been a, this has been a, a, a wonderful thing the Park District's been involved with, and uh, a lot of kids, a lot of parents, too, with some happy memories of that. Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, we usually have the parents that I think are even more excited sometimes than the kids because they know these players that come to town, and they watch them on the big screen, and so they're sharing those stories with their kids, and now their kids are getting excited. So this kind of kicks off a lot of our summer NFL flag football programs. So we're going to have the mini football camp. We'll do football obstacles. We'll have a chance to get an autograph uh, with Jason. And so, you know, we have such a great connection with the Chicago, Chicago Bears, and it's really great of their organization to be so welcoming to our community and to our kids and, and send a lot of players here for them to learn from. Yeah, it's been cool every year, and I, and I love hearing the stories. Right? Yeah, you've been a part of a lot of them, so you've heard a lot of things throughout the years. <laughs> a couple. And <laughs> We've got music on the Toyota Terrace from 2 to 5 at Skybox, and tonight we'll be moving and grooving, doing some aerobic dancing, I believe, at the City Market, teaming up with the Y, and uh, yeah, very excited. Outstanding. Well, Joe and I, of course, will have our leg warmers on and our spandex, and uh, you know, we'll be uh, trying to lead the crowd as best we can. What's that, what's that video from the 80s? It was all, all aerobics dancing? Black. Oh. Last dance? Are you doing your no, own last dance? No, you know which one I'm talking. I know the one I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't look as good as the women <laughs> no, did in that one at, <laughs> no. at, at all. And Laura, I'm really sorry you had to hear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry I have any visuals in my head. That's what I'm really sorry about. <laughs> and on that note, that runs us out of time. A wealth of things <laughs> your park district has lined up for you. Get over to the park district's website to find out more. Laura, have a great weekend. We'll look forward to talking to you next week. You too. Enjoy life, everyone. There's our friend Laura Gibbs Green of the Rockford Park District, rockfordparkdistrict.org.